Hey guys, we have so much to show you, from new shader effect to newly designed levels. Welcome to Nugget and Penny's fifth develop. If you are following along, we think that at this point, you won't be surprised that we change the map yet another time, right? But this time, it's the final design, and we are soon to move on to the next region. We spread the village and the market to utilize the island more significantly. We also added a new section, which is a temple for the Kraken. This is where Nugget and Penny hear about the Kraken for the first time. We also created a shader for the icebergs. We think it looks really nice when the character go near. It reflects and refracts them. We now have an outline of all the game levels and narrative. Part of it was given each level an A. It's mostly for our communication and probably won't appear in the game. Usually, it describes the environment of the level instead of the mechanics, since mechanics appear more than once. For example, the tutorial of the mole's mechanic is now called Garden. The tutorial for the steel mechanic is called Market. And the nav and shot tutorial is called Port. Speaking of the port level, we work on its level design, and we think that besides the water, it's complete. We also redesigned the boat. We felt the previous boat had an old feeling, and we want more modern high-tech design. It's an excellent opportunity to see the full process of creating a new asset for the game. We start by defining the asset's goals. We ask ourselves how it will be used in a mechanic and how it will advance the narrative. After that, we explore how we can visually achieve the goals we defined and create an appropriate sketch or concept art. The sketch later comes to life in a 2D art and animation. But what about we went with 3D? So we modeled it according to the sketch. The final touch is to hand paint the texture for the boat model. Painting the texture is a critical part, since it needs to be precise and mimic the 2D art style in order to blend in. One last thing. We have also started working on one of the levels for the second region. We call it the Greenhouse. It takes place in the factories of Eternal Corp. It is also based on the mole's mechanic, and it turns out moles prefer eternal plants more than radish. We also started animating the eternal plants, both in their mature form and in their baby sprouts form. That was a sneak peek of Region 2. More about Eternal Corp, the factories, and eternal plants in the next devlog. And that's it for this devlog. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We are also working on new tutorials for Unity and Spine that we can't wait to share with you guys. 